Christy and today's video is a Disney swap box. It's been so long, it's actually not a Disney swap box. It's actually a book swap box between Disney YouTubers and I'm not completely in the frame, so just forget that. So if you're new here, I'm a Disney YouTuber. I also do Harry Potter, do uh, style and fitness and uh, recipes and DIYs, run 5Ks, um, do keto so you have come to a place that has a big variety of things um, Disney is the reason I started my channel I am heavily into Disney I don't do a whole lot of Disney subscription boxes because I do Disney swap boxes with my friends and they know how to curate better than any kind of subscription box would in my opinion um, so today's swap box is between Disney YouTubers. It is for the national holiday, national holiday book. It's um, <laughs> read a book day or book something like that. September 6th anyway is the day. And uh, we have swapped books, um, brand new books. I don't think anybody did used books. I think everybody did brand new books. My person I believe sent me three because it was kind of open. I didn't look to see what it was. Um, what, well, I knew that they were books, but I didn't look to see what they were. I just kind of lift, opened it up a little bit like that to see, because it seemed heavy, and I was like, is this really the book swap? It is. She sent me three. The criteria was one, so she went a little overboard, but that's okay. That's sweet of her. So, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, all the people participating channels will be listed down in the description below, so go check out theirs. Go check to see who I sent to. Uh, I had a little oopsie poopsie, and I actually ended up sending to two people, um, but that's okay. So, first thing is this cute card, and it says, Christy, I hope you enjoy these books. I've never read them, so you'll have to let me know. Ashley from Ashley's Grotto. Thank you, Ashley. So let's get into these books. Um, I didn't really have a full wish list of books that I wanted. I just kind of gave them an idea of what kind of books I read. So I'm kind of interested to see what was picked out for me because I am needing some books. So here we have Shadow and Bone. Netflix, uh, oh, Shadow and Bones coming to Netflix. Number one New York Times bestseller, Lee Bargardo. Um, so Shadow and Bones, it looks really cool. Let's give you a little snippet of, oh, it's like a, oh, cool, okay. Um, so this is like a trilogy of books and it looks like, okay, so it's different. Well, that last one may be part of it. So it looks like it may be a trilogy or more. Um, Orphaned and Expendable. Elena Starko is a soldier who knows she may not survive her first trek across the shadow fold. Swath of unnatural darkness crawling with monsters, but when her regiment, or uh, yeah, regiment is attacked, Elena unleashes dormant magic not even she knew she possessed. Ooh, I like stuff like this. Uh, now Elena will enter a lavish world of royalty and intrigue as she trains with the Garish, um, her country's magical military elite, and falls under the spell of their notorious leader, the Darkling. Cool. He believes Elena can summon a force capable of destroying the Shadowfold and reuniting their way, a war ravaged country, but only if she can master her untamed gift. As the threat to the kingdom mounts and Elena unlocks the secrets of her past, she will make a dangerous discovery that could threaten all she loves in the very future of a nation. This seems really cool. I like it. I enjoy um, very fiction, like magic and stuff. Oh, so Lee Bargado, Bar Bargado, Bargado. Oh, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six books. Uh, she is a best-selling author of fantasy novels and the creator of the Grayish Spans of Shadow and Bone Trilogy, The Six of Crows, um, oh, so there's, there's six of them. Her short stories can be found in multiple. Okay, cool. 
So, she looks really young. Let's see if I can. She looks super young, but this is definitely kind of book that I'll love and I'm excited about it. So, the next one in here is part of the Maze Runner. So, I have um, a couple of the Maze Runner books on my Nook. Yeah, Nook. <laughs> it, and I still have it. I don't know if it turns on anymore, but um, I just, uh, like, I really wanted books. Look, I smell the pages. I'm a page smeller person. I love the smell of books. Um, so, I actually haven't read The Kill Order. I have watched it, but I haven't read it. I prefer to read them before I watch them, but I'm okay with doing it either way. It's just a preference of reading before watching. So I'm super excited about this. If you haven't heard of The Maze Runner, it's a really good movie. They made it into a phenomenal movie, but it's really good book series. So it's James Dasher is the writer, and he was born and raised in Georgia, but now lives and writes in the Rocky Mountains. He is the author of the number one New York set, New York Times bestselling Maze Runner series, The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trails, The Death Curse, The Kill Order, The Fever Code, as well as the best-selling Mortality Doctrine series, The Eyes of Minds, The Rules of Thoughts, and The Games of Lies. To learn more, okay, you can go learn more about him. So this is um, The Kill Order is book number one, two, three, four out of five, I believe. Um, but I have seen all the movies and read the first three books. So it'll give you a little synopsis. Before Wicked was formed, Wicked is like a, um, oh, it's their acronym for what was formed. Uh, so before Wicked was formed, before the glades were built, before Thomas entered the maze, sun flares hit the earth, killing most of the population. The worst is yet to come. Mark and Trina were there. When it happened, they survived. But now a virus is spreading, a virus that kills humans with murderous rage. It's kind of like um, World War Z, or like you're being infected with um, rabies or something. It's kind of like that. Uh, there is no cure, no escape. They're convinced that the, there's a way to save those who are left if they can stay alive. Because in this new devastated world, every life has a price. And to some, you're worth more dead than alive. The end is only the beginning. So it is a really, it is a, I wonder if there's any like, no, there's no. Um, the Maze Runner. It, so this guy, Thomas, um, he's put into the maze. He used to work for Wicked, which is the acronym for the people that um, created the mazes and put young children in there to see if they would survive because they thought if they could survive this area that they would populate the, repopulate the world in place of all the zombie-like people. Um, it is very much zombie-like people. It's like World War Z, where, but they're not all running real fast. They're just like normal pace, and they're not like Walking Dead, where they're like, Ugh. I mean, they're like angry, veins sticking out. They look zombie-ish, but they are cognitive. Um, so it's really cool. It's um, really creative. You have to have a creative mind to make that. Anyway, it's, it's, but it's really good. The movies are good. The books that I've read so far are really good. I really like them. Um, yeah, I like stuff like that. Okay. This last one is Daughters of Smoke and Bone. Uh, you won't want to put it down by New York Times bestseller, Lania Taylor. I don't know if I said that right. Who is the daughter of Smoke and Bone? From Master Storyteller and National Book Award, Smartness Leani, maybe Taylor, comes um, a sweeping and gloriously written modern fantasy about a forbidden love, an ancient and epic battle, and hope for the world remade. Interesting. So this is a girl. Um, she's a New York bestseller author, daughter of smoke, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Uh, three times lives in Portland, Oregon with her husband, illustrator Jim Bartlow, and their daughter Clementine. Oh, that's a cute name. 
that's her. I don't think I showed you the a picture of the author for um, uh, The Maze Runner. So this is more like a like fantasy love story, which I also like the which I also like those, kind of like the Twilight Saga. I really loved those books. Um, the movies were <laughs> not that great, but the books were good. Um, so let me go ahead and show you who the author is for, um, it's James Dashner, which is the author of The Maze Runner and all the books preceding that. And that's him right there. I don't know why I like showing the author. I like having a visual of who the author is. And um, sometimes I'll even do a little research on them to see where they were when they wrote their stories. Uh, I, give, I guess a good example is um, The Twilight Saga. Stephanie Mayer, who wrote The Twilight Saga, she actually had a dream about um, Edward and Bella. And her dream was like that, that first, um, in the first movie where they meet in that field of like, what was it, daisies or something? In the field of flowers and he was sparkling in the sun. That was where her dream started. And she just blew it out from there, added a beginning and an ending and made such a amazing story. It turned into a horrible movie, like a guilty pleasure movie, but I like learning those things about the authors, especially if I'm interested in more than just one of their books, like the series. I like the series more than just an individual book because that may, that means I can keep reading and reading. It's not like I've got one book and it ends and it's done. I actually get to read the series and I really enjoy that. It's one of my favorite things is series books. I have a ton of them. <laughs> my husband used to buy them for me all the time. Um, <laughs> I was trying to eat the tissue paper. But uh, that's it for this. Uh, go check out the other channels. Go see what I got the um, person that I sent to. All their links will be down in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I didn't talk your ear off too much about books because I like them. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the books that I've mentioned um, or read or if I've started to read these, Leave me a comment down below and I'll let you know. All right, thanks. Bye now.